Are you a business owner who trades goods and services? Yes. Yes, I am. Perfect. You may be mandated to register for VAT. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Stay tuned to find out how. I'm Radiant Frank. Let's talk tax. VAT registration is mandatory in a few cases. For example, if at the end of 12 months your total sales of taxable supplies equals or exceeds the threshold of 15 million Guyana dollars. To know if you provide taxable supplies, the rule of thumb is just run through the exempt supply list. And once your item is not listed on the exempt supply list, which is Schedule 2 of the VAT Act, then you're making taxable supplies. Because we need to know that taxable supplies can be zero rated or it can be taxed at a rate of 16% which we call, uh, or 14% now, which is um, called standard rated. So if your items is listed on the zero rated schedule and it's not listed on the exempt schedule, then you're, you're providing taxable supplies. Apart from the normal industry, there are other persons required to register too. So a promoter of public entertainment, even if, and in their case, they're not tied to the $50 million threshold or voluntary registration, they must register once they're providing any activity that's considered public entertainment, right? So even if it's a one-off activity in their case, they're required to register. Um, state agencies also required to register or agency to state once they're providing taxable activities within their services. Even though under the Ministry of Infrastructure you have, let's say you have the Mara Harbour Bridge, but in this case they do the, the asphalt plant, they're required to register for that because that as the actual asphalt plant is not necessarily consistent with their normal source of operations, it's a taxable activity within. So that they're required to register, pay it, the charge and remit fat. So not because some people think because I'm an agent of the state or a state agency, you're not required. No, the legislation will have provision. So for actual regulatory functions by the agency, no, that will not be taxable. But if they have any other services or activities that are deemed taxable, they are also required. And they're, they're not tied to state agency like the promoters are not tied to a specific threshold. So even if the activity is um, in a given year, $5 million, they're still required to register because the threshold is not tied to them. To register for VAT, you will need to complete the VAT registration form. So you can come into the tax authority and apply for VAT registration forms um, to apply for VAT registration. And along with your supporting documents, um, such as your basis registration, um, if it's a company, articles of incorporation, the whole, the whole package. Um, along with the, the thing I should point out, the more documentation you actually support, it helps to speed up the process in terms of processing the application. You can apply for VAT even if your business is unregistered. If you fail to apply for VAT, then you could be liable to a penalty that doubles the amount of output tax payable from the time you are required to apply for registration or until you file an application for registration with the GRA. For more information, contact our Tax Advisory Services Department on 227-6060, extensions 1201-1204, or visit our website at gra.gov.gy. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.